hands together and sing this little song with me and then we're going to go off in the prayer just don't get tired we'll be out of here in a while but we come to worship him sweet jesus sweet g old song of the church you're the lily of the valley bright morning star sweet g Sweet Jesus, you're the fairest of 10,000 in my soul. Everybody, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, you're the village of the valley, you're the bright and morning star. Tell him how I love you, how I love you, oh, how I love you, how I love you. You're the lily of the valley, bright and morning star. How I love you, how I love you. You're the fairest of ten times. One more time. Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus. Anybody feel that beside me? That's old song, old song. <laughs> put your Bible down and put your hands together right now. And just give him a little praise. I hear him. I'm trying to follow his direction today. I'm trying to follow his direction today. Get it out. It's a praise. It's a praise in here. It's a praise. Woo! Woo! Glory. Glory to God. Put your hands together for just a little while longer. And let's just give him a little more praise. Out of our Thank you, thank you, yes, this is the heart of praise. So happy to be in this house. So happy to be in this house. So happy to be in this house. Somebody just said, Woo! Hey! <laughs> oh, no. hey. Thank the Lord. Glory to God. Come on, clap them hands and praise Him. Clap them hands and praise Him. Woo! He's a healer. 
<laughs> he's a healer. Anybody else know he's a healer? If you know he's a healer, come on and give him a little bit of praise. Come on and give him some praise. Give him some praise if you know he's a healer. Come on and praise him. Somebody else gonna get healed in here too. Somebody else been healed. Somebody else gonna get healed in here. Somebody else is gonna be healed. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Do this for me real quick, you that can and able to do it. I want you to get up on your feet real quick. And I want three, you find three people and just fist bump them. Or hand bump them. You ain't got to put your hands around their neck. But put your hands right there and tell them the Lord is a healer and a deliverer and a savior and whatever you need. Tell him whatever you need. That's why right, praise you. For real he is. For real he's a healer. For real he's a savior. For real he's a healer. For real, he's a healer. For real, he's a healer and a deliverer. Oh, yes, he is. For real. My God. It, it is in 3327 Deuteronomy. The eternal God is your refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. This is the crux of this message. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before you and shall say, destroy them, my Lord. Mm. He shall thrust out the enemy from before you and shall say, destroy them. I want to talk about the eternal God is your refuge. Just for a few minutes. God is thy refuge, and underneath him are his everlasting arms. Eternal God is the refuge, and underneath are his everlasting arms. We forget that. Because we have so many problems and so many troubles and we forget underneath all of this is the everlasting arms of God which holds you up when you are unaware that you're slipping. When you're unaware of how serious your condition is. Did you not know some of us was on the brink of giving up? Some of us was on the brink of slipping into hell. But the everlasting arms was underneath you, holding you when you wanted to jump. Anybody ever felt like they wanted to jump? Jesus. 
Anybody ever felt like they wanted just to quit and give up? Jesus, hallelujah. Somebody was honest enough to throw their hand at two and hands went up. Amen. There's been times when it's been so dark that you feel as if what is the sense for me to continue? What is the purpose for me to continue to go on? People who get caught up in the spare of committing suicide feel like that when they feel I shouldn't even breathe no more. But underneath all of that, say the word with me, underneath, Jesus, my God, is the everlasting arms of God. There's an old song in the church that says, oh, what a fellowship, what a joy divine, <laughs> leaning on the everlasting arms, what a blessedness. What peace is mine? Say it with me. Leading on the everlasting arm. Oh, what have I to dread? And what have I to fear? Leading on the everlasting arms. I have blessed peace with my Lord so dear. Leading on. The everlasting arm. And that last verse says, Oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arm. And oh, how bright the peace grows from day to day, leaning on the everlasting arms. Now, this text, each one of us. Here live in the realms of mystery on a persistent basis. And all realms will produce a sense of fear in our souls. The first realm we live in is the unknown, the unknown future. We don't know what's gonna happen. A couple of weeks ago, a couple of maybe months ago, I was going through some kind of major dilemma when I was worried so much about the future. Now, the problem with worried about the future is that you can't do nothing about it. One, and because you don't know what it holds. Can I get a witness in here? Nobody in here knows what's going to happen tomorrow. But what the enemy would try to do is get your mind so involved in the future until if you're not careful, you lose your mind. Then the second mystery is the unfathomable presence. There's some things only God can handle for you right now. Say amen, somebody. There's some things that you cannot do for yourself, by yourself, even with the help of somebody else, only the Lord can do it. And then the third mystery is the difficult past trying to come to grips with your past. Mm, not letting go of your past. Concern about what you should have done, what you could have done, and what you would have done if you could do it over, but you can't. So all you can do is throw this thing to the hands of the Lord and realize the Lord got you and give him the praise for the moments in which you live. Hallelujah. All you can do is realize that God, your everlasting arms are holding me and they're keeping me and they're helping to hold me up. I'm not concerned about tomorrow right now. Tomorrow thinking will bring trepidation. Yesterday will bring regret. But today I'm just saying I believe God is able. If you believe the Lord is able, let me hear you say he's able. He's able, hallelujah. I can't get caught up in tomorrow. I can't get caught up in yesterday. Sometimes young people, they don't even think about what's gonna happen at even like time. But we older people spend too much of our time thinking about even like time. All I know, the Lord said there shall be light 
in the evening time and the Lord will fix it when it's got to be fixed the Lord will take care of it when it's got to be taken care of all I know he told Israel he said under my everlasting arms that's where you got to land that you got to land in the arms of Jesus he is the dwelling place he's the place of safety he's the place of refuge that you can fall low I'm almost through here you can get awful low you can get so depressed until you don't know what's gonna happen you can get so filled with tears until you don't know how to stop crying but no matter how low you go God said under my wings my everlasting arms you can't go so low that you'll fall you gonna go so low that you can't get up you don't go so low that God can't help you no matter how low you go touch somebody around you look at them in the face tell them no matter how low you go God is your everlasting arms no matter how low you go God can rise you up no matter how low you go God can make the difference that's why I love God under his everlasting arms you never hit the floor because he holds you up he gathers you under his everlasting arms. Oh. Say it with me, y'all. Oh. Say it under his everlasting arms. Jesus, that sound awful good. Say it again. Say under his everlasting arms. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, you that's having trouble, don't have trouble. Say it again. Say under his everlasting arms. He didn't leave you when he should have left you. Hashemasiah. When he should have walked out and left you standing there yesterday. He didn't leave you. Because he's under, under his everlasting arms. They held you up when you was falling. Anybody ever was almost falling? Thank the Lord. And you felt like you were, anybody ever felt like you was going down? And then out of nowhere, God just picked you up. Jesus put you in his arms, carried you. Lord have mercy when nobody else can carry you Jesus with your big old self couldn't pick you up and left you laying there saying that nothing I can do Lord have mercy in God's arms praise your way out Jesus if you don't know nothing else try to praise your way out Get yourself in a room in your house. Close the door. Wait till everybody goes so they won't think you're crazy. But close the door and just praise yourself out. Close that door and holler and cry. You that live alone, you don't know how blessed you are. Because you can do it and nobody can say anything. But praise your way out. Yeah, I'm almost through. We're going to have dinner prayer here. But how many, when the last time you praised your way out? Jesus, when was the last time that you just prayed? Didn't need the choir, didn't need the organ player, didn't need no saints telling you to go ahead. Lord, have mercy. Wasn't nobody but you and Jesus. And you just praised your way out. When you come out of the praise, you can, whoo, Shabbat. You can feel the deliverance. When you came out of the praise, you could feel the power. Hallelujah. When you came out of the praise, the Lord had given you your little strength back. Jesus. Because under his arms, you'll never go down. 
<laughs> you will never fall because when you feel like you're so low I'm going to quit here I wish I could get this across I think I tried to get this across once before but when you go so low <laughs> Jesus <laughs> when you're almost at, at the end of your rope <laughs> so low <laughs> somebody say how low can you go <laughs> well <laughs> you can almost hit the floor <laughs> But when you come to yourself, God is under the floorboards, holding up the floor. So you can't go under. Lift your hand and say, yeah. I don't care how depressed you are. God said, under my wing. Under my wing. Under my arms, I'll pick you up. I'll pick you up, Jesus. I'll lift you up, Jesus. I won't let you go down, Jesus. Yeah, y'all hear what I'm saying here today? Y'all got it. Do you have it? Everlasting arms of God. The everlasting arms of God.